I want y'all right off the rip, right off the muscle, to hop in the comment section and let me know how you felt about this Drake album. This album is titled Honestly, Never Mind. Honestly, Never Mind. That's what this album is, is, is titled. I don't feel it's appropriate for me as a person, as a consumer of Drake's music on a pretty regular basis. I usually, you know, go into Drake's music with the understanding that he has attempted to release an album. And what I mean by that is Drake has always struck me as the type of individual whose persona relied on him trying his best for a while. He has something that he had to prove, which is why when he did do surprise drops earlier on in his career, I feel like most people took them seriously because he really can't afford to miss. He wasn't as solidified as he is right now. So if you're reading this is too late, when that comes out, Drake is is literally on, on his absolute P's and Q's. This man has crossed all his T's, dotted all his I's. On these albums, it always felt like even if Drake wasn't trying his hardest, he wanted so badly for people to have the most enjoyable musical experience. He knows his audience, he knows his demographic. So fast forward to 2022 and we're getting a surprise release record from Drake where I feel like it's an album that I don't have to give a serious opinion about because I don't feel like Drake took the album seriously at all. I know plenty of people expected me to come into this album and just try to rip it apart. But in all honesty, I have not felt this confused and been this thoughtless in regards to a Drake record in a very long time. On those other records and everything up until this point, it's always felt like Drake has released what he knows his audience has wanted to hear from him whether it be singing whether it be rapping the more relationship driven themes the higher awareness on his own sensitivity he's always known his strengths i guess to, to a degree which is why every album from him has incorporated some level of rapping some level of harmonizing some level of singing some level of you know other cultures music that he's wanted to slightly include into his work which is why we got some dance hall some afro beat on on views on more life but drake has always tried to stretch himself that sounds crazy but he's always tried to stretch himself to the utmost limit he's always tried to include a little bit of everything that people love about his music so that at the end of the day you as a drake listener can't come away from an album that he's released saying that he didn't attempt to do a song for you so when i listen to honestly Never mind. I feel like I'm listening to music from a dude who's completely abandoned that idea, completely abandoned what his audience desires. Because if he was giving his audience what they desired, I think he would have just put out another R&B record, which is what he tried to do on the side B portion of Scorpion. Did people gravitate to it long term? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know Drake's audience to that extent, but he's already done the request. I don't remember or recall anyone ever asking for dance music does that mean that drake can't create what he wants to create absolutely not that's not what that means at all it just means that i feel like this isn't as organic as one would like me to believe it feels as if drake just threw this together i listen to these records and one of the biggest defenses for it i feel is is people saying that it's it's house music which is a big insult to house music because when you when you say it's just house music as a defense to anyone who's not head over heels for this album it's almost as if you're saying this is the best that house music has to offer which if you actually listen to house music you know that's not true those daft punk records those chip e records where they take those elements of house they alter it creatively or stretch it to a point where it crosses a new boundary drake much like many popular acts they 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 find something that they're interested in they they take what the genre is at its base level and they continue to regurgitate the music from its base level without adding anything additional to it so in its most bare bones most lifeless most uncreative most generic state yeah you could say that drake is making house music and being praised by his audience because he's trying something quote unquote new i mean new for drake but just not new in music i guess but i don't think any artist would be able to suck the life 
out of what is supposed to be an album that is supposed to get you to get up out of your seat and dance more than Drake did. The irony in taking the soul and the life out of an album that is supposed to show that you have it is not lost on me. The content of which Drake has decided to express himself on this album border posthumous because it feels like he has nothing left. It feels like a label was legitimately scraping at his remains to find any hints of life available for them to put into a record. And then this is what we ended up getting. And the thing about those artists who have already had posthumous releases, at least the label was aware enough of the potential monotony of over usage of these snippets that their artists had, that they added features to break up some of that repetition drake said nah it's just gonna be me for a whole album and that's it and to say it's the worst of house music is a stretch because it's not you know there are some listenable instrumentals on this album drake is just the worst part of the record for me it's just drake has this very strange way of just making everything that he touches corny it's not that this is bad house music it's not that it's done to the absolute worst degree, even though I do think it is simplified extremely so that Drake can flow well enough on this record to at least look like or come across as if he knows what he's doing with these beats. Because in reality, he tackles them the same way almost every song up until we get to Jimmy Cooks. Drake doing this album doesn't come across as well because people already thought he was mediocre as a rapper. And they've been thinking that for a long time. See, the difference is, Kendrick, for example, when he tries something new, people give him a little bit of wiggle room because of his strong discography. So when he does try something new, like on that last record, there are countless discussions as to the hows and to the whys of why this ended up the way it was. But with Drake, I don't think he's afforded that same luxury because his output for the past five or six years has been very shoddy. So his audience needs to understand he isn't the type of artist even though he's rich and uh, an album that people don't like isn't going to break him in the slightest reputation wise he cannot afford to be experimental and still be boring I also find it incredibly funny how drake's audience an audience who is generally made fun of for being people who artists make music to appeal to when they're considering the lowest common denominator of people who are likely going to enjoy the music that they put out have become elitists over this album in a way that attempts to exclude anyone's opinion who has any type of disdain for this record from having a perspective on it by simply narrowing their thoughts down to you just don't get bitches or you just don't go outside or this is worldly music you guys just you, you only listen to rap and you only listen to hip-hop it's just very crazy seeing the demographic of drake stands have such an elitist mentality it's just jarring seeing drake fans now all of a sudden have that level of musical insight i don't feel like this album is trash i just feel like you could have given it to someone else and we would have gotten a more entertaining record out of it we would have had a more productive conversation I would have been talking about an artist who I felt was probably trying, but Drake's approach to house music is the same as his approach to rap and hip hop the most recent couple years. It's the bare minimum. And when you have an artist like Drake who has basically coasted off of his name more than he has his talent the last few years, he can try an entirely new genre of music and people say, hey, it's his first time, give him a chance. Even though he's the biggest artist in the world, made all the money in the world, had all the recognition, notoriety, and success in the world, and still gets the excuse of his audience when he doesn't perform at the highest level. And he's not a LeBron or a Kobe or a Michael Jordan in terms of a guy who has shown you already that he is a legend by his performance alone. And don't get me wrong, Drake has had some 40 plus games, some 50 plus games in his career. He has had those moments, but you don't get to the level where your audience defends your every move while being the biggest artist in the world and having inconsistent performances. I mean, you can, but you'd only be Drake. Drake putting a bed creaking on a song is some shit that he would do on a hip hop record. Drake's approach to this album is the exact same as his approach to hip hop. You don't think he would put a bed creaking on a, on a hip hop song? On a rap song you don't think that drake would do that the dude who said that he's a lesbian you don't think he would do that too drake making this music is an indicator that when you are as big as he is you don't need to try 
you don't need to do anything other than show up. The discussion I feel like most reasonable people who want to have musical discourse are going to have about this album is who produced it? Who are the producers? How can we forward the genre even more? The producers are going to get a lot of limelight, hopefully, because this is a group project where Drake comes out to basically put his name on the top. And I can see if they were being elitist about something that was good, that was actually going over people's heads. But the vocals are terrible on some of these songs. Drake, who already generally usually has a very passable voice, drenching those vocals in auto tune for no reason at all, singing off key in many instances where Drake is generally a pretty decent technical singer. It's like anyone who's caping for this record didn't listen to Drake's previous output in seeing that he's tried and attempted other genres of music with far more effort than he has here. The difference in attention to detail is staggering. Not even comparing this to the best that house music has to offer, but just comparing this to Drake's general efforts in the past. How are you looking at this record and not seeing the stark difference, the huge contrast? And that's my issue with Drake is he has the access. I'm listening to artists who don't have nearly as many resources as Drake do far more with the sound that he's taking right now than he is, and that shouldn't be a thing. On top of that, there are zero collaborators on this record at all right? No features from any singers, anyone that he enjoys working with. 21 Savage shows up on the album, but it's for a track that Drake could have put anywhere else in his discog. Even on an album where Drake completely does a quote unquote new thing, he still can't fully commit to it. And the placing of this song at the end of this record is just so strange. Why do an entire house album just to let people know that the thing that you've been criticized for doing the most recently anyway is the thing that you're best at. I would I would try to shame the lyrics because they're actually terrible, but the intent, I guess, is for it to be a dance album. So I guess who's really listening to the lyrics? The cover art is actually a pretty good representation of what this album is too. Art done poorly in a black void, but let's put some sparkles and some shiny glitter on it and make it look dazzling. Even though I'm not a big Majid Jordan fan, aren't they signed to OVO? Why didn't he tap them and get them on board for this? Wouldn't they excel in this lane? It just doesn't feel like any artistic evolutions over the past, I don't know how many years. And I can say that about almost every other person that I listen to that I think is a good artist or a great artist. That idea just is not applicable to Drake. I listen to this dude's music over the years in terms of his ideas it's like nothing has changed drake is at a point where even when he's trying something new for him he doesn't have to try and people will give him the excuse that he doesn't have to try because of his celebrity because of his status because of what he's already put out the industry will accept it his fans will accept it without argument honestly with a name like certified lover boy it sounds like this would have been a better backdrop for that record so all in all i don't really have major thoughts about this album it's boring it's bland it's generic it's dry it's soulless it's drake and that's my biggest issue with it if this were done from anyone else a couple names that might come to mind georgia smith uh, the Weeknd, Samfa, a myriad of other artists that Drake himself has actually worked with. This album would probably be a pretty decent listen. That's really the biggest issue with this album is Drake. His approach is so bland and dry and generic and basic. It's actually shocking.